How to fix PFN list corrupt error on Windows 11. Method 1. Run the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. Run the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool to determine whether your RAM is faulty. If the scan detects problems, you will need to replace some or all of your RAM modules. If your PC cannot run long enough to complete the steps in this guide, try booting it in safe mode or safe mode with networking. Open the start menu and click the power button. Hold down the shift key and click restart. Select troubleshoot. Select advanced options. Select startup settings. Click restart. Press the 5 or F5 key to boot your computer into safe mode with networking. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open run. Type mdshed.exe in run and click OK. In the Windows memory diagnostic window, click restart now and check for problems. Your PC will restart and diagnose the memory. Once the diagnostic process is complete, your PC will boot up normally. Once your PC boots up, open the diagnosis report. The report will let you know if your memory is faulty. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open run. Type event VWR in run and click OK. In Event Viewer, navigate to Windows Logs, System. In the right pane, click Filter Current Log. Open the Event Sources menu and select Memory Diagnostics Results. Click OK. Double-click the Results Log. If there are memory errors, consider replacing your RAM. If there are no memory errors, proceed with the following fixes. Before moving to the next step, we would like to recommend Combo Cleaner. To keep your device running smoothly, avoid malware infections, and free up disk space, we recommend using Combo Cleaner. Available for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS devices. Download and install it today at ComboCleaner.com. Grab our limited deal for Windows and Mac users. Use the coupon code PCRISK30 for 30% off at the checkout. Method 2. Run a check disk scan. Boot up your PC in safe mode with networking. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open run. Type CMD in run and hold down Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter keys to open command prompt as an administrator. In command prompt, type in chkdskc colon, slash f, slash r, and press Enter. Replace C with the letter of the drive where Windows is installed on your PC. Type in Y or Yes if that volume is being used by another process, and press Enter. Close the command prompt and restart your PC. The scan will begin during the restart. Wait for the scan to complete. Method 3. Run the Deployment Image and Servicing Management and System File Checker Scans. Boot up your PC in safe mode with networking. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open run. 
Type CMD and run and hold down control plus shift plus enter keys to open command prompt as an administrator. In command prompt, type in dism slash online slash cleanup image slash scan health and press enter. Type in dism slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health and press enter. Type in SFC slash scan now and press enter. Close the command prompt and restart your PC. Method 4. Update device drivers. Boot up your PC in safe mode with networking. Right-click the Windows Start button and click Device Manager. Go through the devices list and look for devices with a yellow triangle and an exclamation mark. This symbol indicates an issue with the device. Right-click the device and click Update Driver. Select Search Automatically for Drivers. Windows will automatically install the best driver available on your computer. Alternatively, select Browse My Computer for Drivers. Click Browse and select a driver downloaded from the hardware vendor's website. Alternatively, select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select a compatible driver from the drivers list and click Next. Click Close after installing the driver. Method 5. Uninstall Gigabyte RGB Fusion. Right-click the Windows Start button and click Install Apps. Scroll down and find RGB Fusion. Click the three-dot button next to RGB Fusion and click Uninstall. Click Uninstall to confirm the removal. Method 6. Disable Microsoft OneDrive. Boot up your PC in safe mode with networking. Hold down Windows plus R keys to open run. Type gpedit.msc in run and click OK. In the local policy editor, navigate to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, OneDrive. Right-click the Prevent the Usage of OneDrive for File Storage Policy and click Edit. Tick Enabled. Click Apply and click OK. Restart your PC. Hopefully, this video provided you with the information you were looking for. If you're using a Windows computer, we suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. Combo Cleaner's real-time anti-malware scanner will stop malware from gaining a foothold on your PC. Anti-ransomware protection will protect your most precious files against being encrypted by ransomware.
Combo Cleaner's web browsing protection will block scams, malicious websites, and downloads. Also, Combo Cleaner's duplicate file finder and big files finder will help you clean up your PC and save gigabytes of valuable disk space. Don't let malware wreak havoc on your computer. Download Combo Cleaner today. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to our channel.